hello welcome back to the plot i'm just sitting down having a cup of coffee i've just got here it's lovely today it did rain quite a bit over the weekend so it is a little bit stodgy here and there but you know everything's looking good i'll show you around in a minute i've got a few jobs to do today i have to clean up the parsnip bed i also have to weed some more of the fruit cage because my polytunnel finally got delivered and it needs to go up it was meant to go up yesterday but because it rained so much it just didn't get done so i need to do some weeding and some trimming back of whatever is in there i think there's some gooseberry which i'm not keeping unfortunately um there's some raspberries that need to be dug up as well but i need some pots for those so there's a few little things that i need to do as well as keeping on top of the weeds there are unfortunately more of those jam weeds everywhere so i'm going to dig them up again put them in my bucket and take them home so that they're not infesting everything here we do have a little bit of a casualty as well the peas didn't survive i knew i should have put in my little slug trap i knew i should have set something up but i didn't because i thought they'll be fine but no they have been absolutely decimated so i have no peas i do have my seeds with me though so i'm going to leave the peas in that have kind of not that have been eaten and then just sow some seeds alongside um, so that the roots are still there so that they'll die down and enrich the soil um, and because i planted seeds at the other end where i didn't have enough pea plants um, hopefully they'll all kind of germinate together and we'll just get some new peas and I may have to cover them when they start coming up from the slugs so I'm going to have to come every day just to check on them and I think I'm just going to have to come every day anyway to plod away at that weeding so that I can get the polytunnel up this weekend because um, I'm not going to do a bunch of hardcore weeding in one day it's going to take me a couple of bucketfuls to get home with all of the all of the stuff so yeah that's the plan um i'm just sitting down having a coffee and a banana and then i will get to work look guys r.i.p <laughs> they are all gone oh what a shame but I'm just going to put some more seeds in, just in two little rows. And then hopefully they'll all come up with those other ones that I planted just down there. just sewn these ones art shades and the daisy mix so a bit of a variety and we'll keep an eye on those hopefully fingers crossed they come up
gonna plant some carrot. This one is a resistor fly. So I'm just gonna put a couple of rows in and then put a plank over the top to help with germination. Cause I'm gonna come up here every day this week just to check on things, make sure everything's going fine. So I've sewn three rows, just as long as my plank, mainly because the seeds that I have, I don't have that many in the packet. So, but I've done three rows of resistor fly. And then I do have several other carrot varieties because this is my whole carrot bed. I'm going to put the others down there on the other half once these ones have germinated so probably about a month away I'm going to sow the rest just so that I have a nice succession of carrots this is the fruit cage <laughs> so far so I did do a little bit of clearing um, as you can see I've, I've cleared this area it's all just kind of I've had to dig because I've got things like this in here um several of them and there are some more of those horrible horrible weeds and there's loads of creeping buttercup as well so i'm just having to dig everything um because i really just really want to just get the polytunnel in and up and yeah just have all of this clear basically so what I need to do is chop back, chop back these, dig up some of these and pop them, pop them in some pots. I probably won't do that today because I've forgotten my pots, but I will be digging out a lot of, a lot more of these weeds, especially these big ones. Here is kind of the worst culprit, but my polytunnel is two by three meters, so it's going to be two meters across here. So really, I only need to go up to this post if I want to dig that in. So I just need to clear like this section in order to put the polytunnel up. So I've just got a little bit more to do. These can probably stay in here whilst I put the polytunnel up if I don't get them out. I'm not keeping any of these. That may seem like a shame, but I just, I'm not keeping them. I'm going to take them out and I'm just going to chop them up. I've chopped up some bits already because I have like chopped some back so that I could get more into this space. I need to chop them back in order to complete the weeding. So I'm going to chop some more back, chop them like right down, put them in the composters which are just there, uh, try and weed sort of maybe that, that half or just just try and get a lot of it out all of these weeds are coming back home with me to go in my brown bin at home because I don't feel confident composting <laughs> all of these I've also got a bag of coffee grounds to um, to put in my compost as well which I got from Starbucks we're at the bottom of the plot what I plan to do today is just take it easy plod along I'm not going to worry about getting too much done because as I mentioned I'm coming here every day by the way it's now Tuesday it's not it's not the same day as it was for the rest of the footage I'm just gonna plod along see what I can get done this whole back section needs clearing as well but I'm just kind of using it as the storage center for everything that I kind of need to try and fit in my car to take home to take to the tip um, and not worry too much about 
what this area looks like. Eventually, I will be putting in some hotbeds and some compost bays rather than these rather than these things because I don't really like these things these ones they're okay but I would prefer to have a heap that I could potentially turn and hot compost so that actually kills like seeds and perennial weeds more effectively than what these are doing so yeah um, I'm not going to worry about doing too much. If I get chance today, I am going to try to construct my runner bean sh uh, structure. I also need to purchase um, an archway that I can then line with some chicken wire or something so that I can have it for my squash. Um, but I need to construct another raised bed for that. But they, those won't be going in until sort of late april may time so we've got plenty of time until we need to do the stuff for that so i'm just gonna plod on at these weeds because this fruit cage area is disturbing me this is where i've got to <laughs> i've cleared quite a bit of it there's lots of this dock this big thing here which i have had to dig out uh it's looking quite good so i still need to take these out and i need to take my raspberries out fingers crossed that it's not too wet and i can come up tomorrow and take the cage down tomorrow is now saturday it's now friday but I still the netting won't take too long to take down i can just kind of take that down and what i've done here and ball it up but it's going to be taking the fruit cage actually down because it's one really put into the ground and it's also bolted to these bits here um, but I took the roof off I took because of my head kept catching where it was dipping so I've taken the roof off you can also see that the cage is uh, oh almost tripped over the door the cage is leaning like you can see that it's got a slant to it which it needs to come down anyway so I also have kind of roughly tidied up this area back here if we come out um, it's kind of roughly it's not really anything back here at the moment I need to go and get another water butt because it's going to start raining heavy again and I would like another water butt so that I've got two this isn't going to be enough to water everything especially if we have any kind of drought like last year but eventually I'm going to build in some compost bays like some ones out of uh, pallets and put them here and also going to put in a hotbed back here as well these composters where the previous plot owner has had it it's they've just put in like big old chunks of wood um <laughs> which isn't great uh so i need to really kind of go through all of this and sort it out i've been trying to do my own like make a good compost mix so at the moment i've got some nice greens on top for some grass that i've clipped a uh, mixture of some small browns on tops but underneath all of the grass there are quite a few browns and it's actually quite warm in there there's also coffee grounds and stuff that i've put in there which i got from starbucks so this little black one is my good compost these i'm a little bit iffy about but this is what i've been composting and i know what i've been composting so then today's job is to put in i've bought my spinach and my spring onions from at home that i've been hardening off i've got them with me they are down there <laughs> i need to put those in i'm going to attempt if they get eaten by the slugs that's fine i've got more spinach that i'm going to put in but I, coming back tomorrow so i can check on the status of everything and make any adjustments if i need to i do have 
a little slug trap that I'm going to concoct next to the spinach because if anything's going to go it's going to be the spinach so yeah I need to put those in I need to remember where they're going I think they are actually going in this big bed so it's starting to rain so I need to get my little hurry up boots on and get going I've also got my second early potatoes which I'm putting in as well so lots of planting so we're going to go just gonna dig out the weeds that are coming up there's lots of I've manured this um, and there's lots of of these things coming up there everyone has them on their plot who's used manure so I think it was like a, a thing in the manure possibly These spring onions desperately needed to come out. I'm just going to plant them up and down here and hope for the best. So I'm literally just going to like dig out a little trough and then just put eight of them in and then they can grow alongside the carrots. Carrot variety is resist a fly, so it should be fly resistant. But I'm thinking if I've got some spring onions in alongside, it's not going to hurt, is it? I mean, it might be a bit of more of a deterrent in case there are any pesky flies. Oh, this clump has fallen apart. <laughs> Let's just try and pop them in. They should be fine. What I'm going to do is get my watering can, give them a quick water, and then try and take them out. Well, it might not, because the soil is very loose. So, one, two, three, four put you there I'm just losing half of them as well I think I dug out too much of a big trench so I'm just going to bury them a little bit more Everything's doing fine. The peas over here haven't come up yet. There's some weeds, so I need to get some weeding done tomorrow. Potatoes are in over there. And one thing I did want to show you was, finally, 
I thought <laughs> thought that they were a lost cause because it's just been so wet and I thought that they had rotted um, but turns out let's take the top off my shallots have all just started to come through so this one's actually all right now I've taken the little top off of it um, I've got 12 I think so they're starting to come out let's take this top off as well we can there we go get the little brown tops off get them out in the open give them a little helping hand this one's already coming through here you don't need help I wasn't hopeful for these so I'm glad I'm glad that they've started coming out and actually in the last couple days they've grown quite a bit they're growing quite fast I mean even these onions with this onion and garlic patch with the slightly warmer weather it's just absolutely shooting up now these ones were some of the last to come up but look at them they're catching up with the growth on these ones already which is nice to see and the garlic's doing better now getting lots of bigger leaves so hopefully we'll have a nice bountiful garlic harvest i always do really well with garlic and onions think because they're quite easy to grow but yeah that's how everything's doing it's starting to get quite wet like it's that fine rain but I'm just my hair is getting absolutely out of control and wild where it's it's getting getting damp um so that's pretty much it for this vlog now everything's starting to come up and starting to grow really quick I've got loads of things at home like the tomatoes and stuff as soon as the polytunnel is up I will be moving all of my seeds here um, so I won't be having seeds at home anymore which will give up give me a little bit more room and hopefully everything will grow a lot nicer because they'll have a lot more light rather than relying on my <laughs> at home lights but yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one